continue Train of Thoughts with Steve Schumann's my name's Chad, and of course, especially with new shows, I still don't have an intro because I'm a lazy asshole. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ben and Kendall! Yay! Kendall's usually here, but Ben has never been on... Well, actually, you've been on one video. I've always been. But yes, I have. Uh, I mean, you would see me otherwise, but we weren't able to release that video. We'll try to later. <laughs> if we ever get to it. Yeah, if we if that ever happens, yes. <laughs> All right, so... So, this is a brand new podcast we are trying out, and actually, it was actually Kendall's idea, not mine for once. Oh? Oh, oh yeah, it was Apparently mine. so! <laughs> okay, um, so basically how this is going to work is we have two people, and we have a topic. They will come up with a random thought based on that topic, usually the first thing that comes into their heads... From there, we will deter. We will piece together a story with that topic and with those two words or topics that come into their minds, and then we kind of bounce it off just to keep the train rolling, and it just becomes an entire episode of giant randomness and all sorts of things that just basically go spiral into nothingness and nowhere and randomness. And pretty much things go wrong because the studio show is entertainment. Yeah, that makes sense. A lot of sense. And so what? So. I'm guessing you're hosting because this was your idea. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. So she gets the privilege of not having to open her mouth for most of this. Oh, God. All right. So much for job security. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my gosh. Train of thought. Come back to me. Good job. All right, okay. Yeah. From Seriously. what I understand, Seriously. that the host Seriously. gives the topic and the two other people, okay. the idiots, me and Chad, are going to... Come up with the very first thing that pops into their minds when it, when it comes to the topic. Not yet. Uh, uh, not okay. yet. Just, zip. Just zip. To explain that zip. one more time like zip. that. The way he said zip. It. Zip. Hey, zip. 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 Stop. I will well, duct tape your mouths. Well, at least I re-railed this train. Okay. Um, so essentially what we're going to be doing, I'm going to, the topic is public transportation. So without explaining it, let's just get, dive right into it because I can't explain it for the life, for my life. Okay. Public transportation, specifically the horrors of public transportation. Random thought number one, who should I decide to go first? Who am I going to put on the spot? Chad! Go! First thing that comes to your mind related to the topic. A creepy old lady that sits next to you on the train. Good, good one. Benjamin. I was going to say airplane engine goes out. On public okay. transportation? Well, planes well, are technically public airplane, transport. An airplane is a public transport. I don't know. Maybe we can make it like a flying train or something. <laughs> all right, all right. But so, maybe, I should, maybe I should keep it on the land base. So stuff, we got, right? we got the creepy old lady that sits next to you and the airplane engine goes out. You guys have to come up with a story. A separate story. So you come up with a story, Chad. You come up with a story, Ben. Oh, God. And we're going to see who can come up with the best story that connects those two topics together. So, about a creepy old lady that sits next to you on, on a crashing plane with the well, engine. take out. a minute to think about it. Make sure you get a good story. I'm not good at storytelling, so this is going to crash. Honestly. Just go as creative and go nuts. Every which way oh, this train God. goes everywhere, nowhere, and apparently somewhere. You know, it's just like that one British comedy show, this improv stuff. It's probably best if we just go by whatever crap comes into our brains at any given exactly. moment. Exactly. That's I what mean, this it... show is about. Random things that call, pop into your head. Isn't that, isn't that what we call the comedy bells? <laughs> I suppose. But, no, this is better. Is it? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. Who's going first? Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, I guess it's me then. All right, points points to Chad because points to Chad because he pointed. <laughs> I guess yeah, he, I, gave a, I gave a good I mean, pointer. Chad, yeah, five know, points. You know, you know, I guess it. Yay! I guess it works because you can't really. See, I mean, you can't see. There's no camera. Well, at the we moment, don't have a camera yet. We're gonna do that eventually. Yeah, but I mean, this just for context, he pointed at me because he did not want to go. This first. is just a test, so we're gonna see. Either way, and it sounds like we got ourselves some leaves. Rain. Right? Rain. <laughs> <laughs> and the rain, rain, rain came down, down, down. A piglet started bailing. <laughs> Chocolate rain. <laughs> okay, that actually could work in my story. Wait, here. wait, no, no. Wait, wait. Chocolate rain. I pull all the way to breathe. <sighs> okay, okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, so. 
All right, who's going first? Who's got their story first? I guess I'll go because right. you guys have been kind of pestering me on this. Anyhow. It was a dark and stormy night. The There's train like, had gone through the woods away from its destination. Just like how, how all stories go. <laughs> That's not how it starts. How do you go away from your destination? Damn it. <laughs> Anyhow. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, rewind. It was a dark and stormy night. The train has just passed through the woods. And you sit alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get to that. Wait, so, so we go from a plane from a, from, to a train. Where, where get, is this going? <laughs> Nowhere. I'm going, I'm going to and tell everywhere. you where it's coming from. From the bend? You'll see. <laughs> you sit alone on this train. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You sit alone on this train, looking out the window. The rain droplets fall on the windows, and you are reminded that your experiences are just as fleeting. I reflect on my reflection, and I ask myself... Sorry. All right, Chad, minus five points for interrupting. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you, you just represented man or Muppet. You shouldn't do that. Well, who am I to judge? I mean, That's it's right, Kendall's you're not job. The judge. You're not the judge. In any case... You feel a presence approach you. You notice from the corner of your eye, an old lady. Is this seat taken? She asks. Uh, no, I guess not. May I sit down here? Sure, go ahead. Thank you. And the old lady sits down right next to you on this train in the brain. She pulls out a newspaper, opens it up and puts it right in front of her face to appear inconspicuous. And yet, you wonder. Where have I seen this person before? It is then that you look in the corner of the paper. You see an article. Terrorist hijacks airline. 16 dead. Oh, God. And you realize that this person might be the culprit because the description of the terrorist is an old lady with wrinkly skin and graying hair. Perfectly matching the description of the lady who just sat next to you. And you realize, either I need to report this to the authorities, or I need to bite my lip and make sure that I get away with my life. Because who knows, this bitch might just drive this train out of the sky. I thought you were going to say you were going to end up with brown pants. <laughs> <laughs> and then you realize, hey, wait a minute. I'm on the ground. Why the hell would this be flying out of the sky? <laughs> the old lady drops her newspaper a little bit and says, Sonny, why are you talking to yourself about the sky in brown pants? <laughs> Go for it, Chad. Oh, what work. happens next? It's like whoever adds the best could be it. What happens next? Okay, we're, so... Like an old lady who's suspected to be a plane-crashing terrorist is sitting next to you on the train. Okay. Where do you go from here, Chad? Oh, God. I, I, I suck at storytelling, just to be clear. Even though I'm a voice actor. I think we might have accidentally kicked the table. It's fine. It's fine. Because this is when shit hits the fan. <laughs> so, I guess the old lady would say, So, what do you think about the plane crash? <laughs> uh, um, I, I, don't, I don't know what to think. It, it, it was a scary moment. I, I'm surprised. I was curious about the one who was doing it. Yeah, it's sort of terrifying me. Why do I sound like Piglet on drugs? <laughs> Radical. <laughs> hey, Piglet, I'm, I've got uh, this I, special honey right here I got from Tigger. It, it's a special honey. <laughs> Radical. <laughs> okay, back to the story. You know, I remember seeing I remember seeing this meme about how the characters from the Winnie the Pooh series were kind of an allegory for drugs, like. Oh like, my gosh! Like, like Why are we discussing like, this? I mean, we're sp it's like the train of thought. Think of the children watching, if they are watching. We already they're... said so many curses before. I don't think kids will watch past five minutes or even watch in the first place. Because you might be surprised no with this freaking generation. I almost cussed. Save myself. Honestly. You have a I mean, they're hearing about an old lady who freaking crashed a plane with some odd reason on a plane sitting next to a dude who shit his pants. <laughs> you make a valid point right there because they play Call of Duty and other violent games like that. 
Uh, um, who do you think it would be? Oh, it could be anybody. It, it described an old lady in this paper I'm reading. Yeah, anyone. And soon, he walked away with brown pants, wondering if it could have been her. Next stop appeared. So when the train stopped, he walked out as quick as he could, mainly because he was embarrassed about the brown mark in the back of his pants. That <laughs> <laughs> wheeze! Ben! Ben, ten points for that. Glorious, glorious wheeze! That's, that's the wheezing that makes when the train stops. <laughs> okay. That's the sound right there. <laughs> okay. What are we fighting, Batman? <laughs> okay. So I didn't so get time, Rita! <laughs> so, he had, he had to walk away very quickly, not just because of the brown marks behind his pants, but of course he had to change them, which luckily he had a spare pair in his backpack. Was well, that the fart of the zoo? <laughs> I think it's both. We're improvising! I think it's both. It could be both. <laughs> Let's just say it's like, both. <laughs> like, I'm, just, I'm just imagining this, like, this guy <laughs> eating an entire bag no, no, of, <laughs> of sugar free gummy bears. Well, just what, what, what can we worse? Oh, Somebody <laughs> slap my face! Like, right before the train goes on. What could have been worse if there was, like, this a... Suddenly he's got this uncontrollable urge to poo. <laughs> like, in a bag, in a bag. Doctor just comes into the cabinet. Ma'am, can you please tell me who left this brown mark on the chair? Or like, uh, what died in here? <laughs> no, just can't just no, no. What, if you could just imagine if we just had the recording and someone had to reenact this in real life, you're like, how the f am I supposed to reenact this? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the gold moment. I want to see like, somebody actually do this. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. yeah, quite literally. Oh shit. <laughs> We should just have somebody so, eat some taco so fell or so other So he, so he walks out of the bathroom feeling like, oh, I feel better, and I feel more pride. And then suddenly, he, he remembered, I shouldn't really go on this next train, especially with that old lady. Hopefully she's not around. So he looks around him. She didn't seem anywhere near him. So he hopped on the next train. So the next train hopped into the next town. And then suddenly, he gets to another situation where he's, the old lady says, is the seat taken? Oh, f you, No, feel free. Take it. I mean, what else do you say to an old lady that, you know, wants to sit down? Uh, find another seat. My wife Go is sitting fuck here. yourself? <laughs> <laughs> you can't see what I'm doing, but... <laughs> Yeah. It's something that you really shouldn't teach your kids until oh, like 12. Oh my goodness gracious. No, not 12! What's wrong with you? Well, that's when sex education happens. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! This is going so wrong. What could go wrong with C-Show's entertainment? We're talking about brown pants and a train and an old lady murderer. <laughs> and apparently... Um, apparently who's on drugs, apparently. And, and also apparently Piglet on drugs. And also, might I add, um, Chocolate Rain. Chocolate Rain. <laughs> All right, anyway. you, can you can continue the story. I can't figure it out. And on to Ben! Not wanting to reveal that you recognize this lady from the previous train, you hesitate to respond, but you do allow this lady to sit next to you again. And like, like before... An and like before, you see the lady pull up a newspaper, but this one is a different one. This one seems to be from earlier... Possibly to hide her tracks, but you still can't help but notice the article. It's a little bit smaller. It's not front page news, but it does show that there has been a hijacking of a helicopter. A tour helicopter, specifically. As it turns out, this old lady is a serial airline jacker. We do not know why she wants to go after aerial vehicles and why she's on a train right now. One thing's possible, that she's just lying low, waiting for her next strike. So, so why the fuck is she on a train? Possibly to make people not realize that it's actually her. Because if you see an old lady on a train, she's not going to crash it so, into the ground. So she just goes from plane Did to plane teleport? to train. Did she teleport? Well, maybe she got off the train and just waited for the next what, train to come what, by. This is like a stupid version of plane, trains, and automobiles. Well, I guess there's no automobiles in this, but yes. What, right. do, you, do you just want, like, a big explosion in the end? <laughs> Boom! That's that's how all stories. And that was and that was the day I exploded my pants. <laughs> <laughs> that's toilet bomb. 
<laughs> Honestly, I think this might be bomb. My, you know, I think yeah. this I think this could probably lead into some other kind of uh, interesting ending. I kind of want to see where it goes from here. Anyhow. <laughs> so you so wishing to lie low. While this lady has her newspaper up in front of her, you pull out your phone and start to text the cops. You tell I have the airplane hijacker right next to me on the train. Hold up, can I intervene one second? How do you text the cops? I read about it. You can wait. Can, can, you can. You can text the cops, huh? Wait. Do, so wait. Do you Siri the text the cops? I would not Siri them. How? Wait. How can? Can you Siri cops? Can you Siri cops? You know, we might as well look it up while we have our phones. Okay, here it is. March 27th, 2018 on f Food Trends of all things. Law enforcement buzzed myth about pepperoni pizza 911 code despite internet claims. And uh, if I scroll down... A little, hang on. I, I, I accidentally hit the actual search for... for Okay, okay, so if I scroll down, yada yada yada, yada 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 yada, text to 911 is a much better option. Your exact location and the nature of your emergency is what's needed to send the right resources. What, what That's been, the same article. What would have been funny in the story, I feel like, if he, if he just said, hey Siri, help. And then she's, and she's like, help, I need somebody, help! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, anyway. Chad, five <laughs> points for quoting a song I like. <laughs> well, either way, uh... Or, or you could just play the move. Get the fire brigade, get the fire brigade. <laughs> anyway. So as you text 911 and tell them your emergency, the old lady peers down and says, Are you talking to a friend? And you quickly hide your phone. Ah! Says, uh, yes, yes, I am texting my, uh, my, my brother. dad. Brother. My dad's brother. There my dad's my brother's dad. friend. My dad's uh, my uncle, I guess. Sure. Where is he right now? Well, um, he's in, um, Little Rock. Very specific. Why, why Little Rock? I just made it up. I mean, it's just a city that came to mind. I feel like if someone was w listening to this by a campfire, this would be the worst story they've ever heard. I feel like. Little Rock. Little Rock. Little Rock. Little, little, little Rock. rock. Little, rock. <laughs> little Rock. Little Rock. Little Rock. You know, I bet if Dwayne Johnson had a kid, he'd be called Little Rock. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be, That'd be genius. Yeah. Don't Little. trademark that just yet. Please. <laughs> We're selling out Steven Schumann's store, Little Rock Red Rubble. Uh, I can't <laughs> talk. <laughs> I can't even do my own freaking promotion. <laughs> Sorry. Little Rock Wrestling Kids, make sure that yours goes home strong. It's Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. It's hey, Little right? Rock Junior. Woohoo! And we are just beefing up on the steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Who's beefing up the records tonight? Do you smell what protein the Little Rock is cooking? No, because it smells like shit. <laughs> Cause did you see what was behind him earlier? <laughs> Proud <laughs> fans. All right. He read it. He, I can't even do the rest. I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, this podcast is just gonna be full of jokes, bad stories, and freaking. Freaking cocaine for some reason. <laughs> you know, that's going to be our next podcast. It's like, it's like the cocaine runs. <laughs> Wait, you mean like literally runs or um, like, like toilet emergency yeah, runs? Like, oh, okay, God. That makes sense. I mean, you Medical could, runs. I mean, you like, could literally run while you're doing that. So it's like you're leaving a, tr like you're like leaving you're a trail leaving diary. A trail, I just imagine like, a trail no, diary no. in your pants. Just like, a brown just like and a white. big squishy bag just, just like in your a pants. Just, like, just, 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 you could just leave it literally brown and white on the trail. And the, and like, the, and the, and the police like, have their sniffer dogs. <laughs> they're just like, Sparky, no. <laughs> Sparky, no. No, Sparky, no. Stop it! <laughs> anyway, back to the story. Yeah, good idea. Let's calm down a bit first. <laughs> okay, keep going, y'all. <clears throat> Your uncle sounds like he could use a little bit of company. Would you like to see him again sometime soon? Um, not at the moment. Oh, don't worry, I can send him to him. Oh, are you sure? I don't think that's necessary. Oh, I've got something for you to go to. Is that a loaded gun? I guess. <laughs> um, is your uncle dead? Is she sending you to your uncle who's dead? <laughs> In fairness, one of them is. But that's all right. I, that was Morgan. Uh, don't worry. He actually lived a good life. In any case, uh, you are very nervous and 
you decided to stand up. I'm sorry, I have to go to the bathroom. Because those, you don't. Those, those uh, sugar-free gummy bears are still hitting your system. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's a story for another time. <laughs> You're about to have a massive exploder in your pants. <laughs> the world's strongest laxative. I think we can. I think we can finish this. Gummy bear. I think all three of us can finish this off together. The, the, the world just stopped. Like everybody looked up. Deers, buddies, and grandmas. Chad. What? Minus five points. Oh, come on! <laughs> you said deer. Deer. <laughs> I, I think it's D-E-A-R. I don't care! I don't know English. You said deer. Wrong tense of deer. Why are Deers. we counting language? What the hell? No. Rubbish. <laughs> Bias. You are not going to the restroom without my supervision, young man, she says, putting a piece of cold steel up against your back. You recognize that feeling, but only from a little plastic dart gun game when you played as a kid. And when this she... is a real... Firearm. So when she says you. young man, you just suddenly think, think like, wait, what the she, hell? I'm 34. Wait, wait, is she going in the bathroom with with the with the guy? Um, How, effectively holding him hostage. In the bathroom. Going there, yes, because honestly, you get privacy in there, and you can do just about Could, anything. So couldn't he escape through the window if the bathroom had a window? Well, I don't think bathrooms have windows. Well, I mean, if they if it did, because it's a train, obviously, like it could have a privacy window. I'm not sure. Either way. I'm gonna say nope. Don't have windows. Yeah, I mean there honestly, are no windows. It'd be creepy windows. if someone could actually just stay on the side of a train and just peer right through. Do you <laughs> see what I see? Do you see what I see? Waving I yellow see. liquid in the bowl. So with this lady's gun pressed up against your back, you have no choice but to be herded toward the restroom with her threatening to shoot. As the gun is in her pocket. Nobody can actually see that it's her gun. They might assume it's just a purse or a phone. So when you go into the restroom with her behind you, not suddenly when you realize, this might be my chance to escape. But I can't do it right now. Otherwise, she'll just shoot me when I run. So you muster your courage and go into the restroom with her following right behind you. And you take a deep breath for it may be your last. You warn the lady. I don't think you should have done this. Because honestly, I have eaten a handful of gummy bears. Sugar-free gummy bears. I'm sorry. What does that have to do with me keeping you quiet? Lady. If you kill me now, I will void my bowels so badly that you will die from the sting that will come out of my butt. Where is this going to? <laughs> even I couldn't even figure out where this is going to. This has no good ending. Oh, trust me on this. <laughs> it, it's This is literally <laughs> It's the fan. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to be the other direction. <laughs> what? Wait, Wait so, so instead of the fan, is the grand. <laughs> it's the grand. Pretty much. <laughs> it's the grand. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what the f***? The old lady is confused. What are you talking about, young man? And before she finishes her question, you bring your arm right up and jab her right in the ribs. Her gun is just jarred enough out of the way that when it fires, that it misses you just barely and hits the mirror in front of you. You whip yourself around, you grab the old lady by the shoulders, and you dunk her head right into the toilet, and you flush and give her the worst swirly in the world. Now keep in mind that you still have a little bit of rumble in your tumble. You are feeling like you really need to empty yourself out, but you also want to make sure that this lady stays silent. Uh, so... <laughs> I, I cannot imagine if this was real life. Like, I'm pretty sure I can't you, see this happening. I can visualize it perfectly. I can't! <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'd probably be arrested for assault. Can we, yes, that! Exactly! That! <laughs> But either way, I could just imagine just, just this is guy who ate these diarrhea-inducing gummy bears just and he had the most it, unholy this, liquid the, turd. This, can you just imagine? Right on her, can you, her head is in the toilet bowl, and you flush it so it goes you, all the way from the back dude, of her can head. You, to can the you front imagine of her the complaints face. though? Okay, this guy's got mental from gummy bears. He, <laughs> This, guy, uh, this guy's got in the in the uh, restroom. Thioacetone is a hell of a drug. Uh, this guy's got mental from uh, gummy bears, and he's attacking an old lady. Can we please call security? <laughs> I can just imagine the steward coming by. Excuse me, is everything all right in there? So for can we reason, please we're... call security, please? <laughs> uh, you might not want to come in here, sir. I uh. I, Why I... is that horrible stench? Uh, take a wild guess. <laughs> 
Did you shit on your Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm done! Good night! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Oh, please get out of here, please! This shit hit the ground. Okay! Good night! Good night! Good night!